بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين وبعد عقبة بن عامر رضي الله تعالى عنه one of the illustrious Sahaba he comes to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he asks him a question that may have come to all of our minds and that is the world is very turbulent the world is a very chaotic place and sometimes it becomes so difficult to make sense of the world in light of the fitnas out there in light of the challenges out there a person's faith can get lost in the mix so he asks the messenger of Allah alayhi salam Man najah? How can we protect ourselves? What is the lifeboat? What is a life vest in this ocean of fitna and sin and confusion? <clears throat> and the Prophet ﷺ, he gives him three pieces of advice that is so perfectly apt for the times that we're living in today. The one question everyone has is that the modern world is moving so fast, it's so complex. There's social media, there's fitness everywhere. You know, shaitan's pull is gripping us and is shattering us. What do we do? The same answer that the Prophet ﷺ, he gave to Uqba ibn Amir is 100% relevant today as well. He gives him three pieces of advice. He says, if you want to navigate the troubling waters, of the world that's so chaotic, three things. Number one, he says, Amsik alayka lisanak. Number two, Wal yasa'ka baytuk. Number three, Wabki ala khati'atik. Three things, and you will make it to the other end, inshallah, without any trouble. I'll trans translate them now, but we'll speak about it over the coming days. The first thing he says is, Amsik alayka lisanak. In Arabic, amsik means to hold on to something. So he's saying, amsik alayka lisanik, hold your tongue back. Hold your tongue back. Don't let your tongue drive you into these mahalik, into destructive scenarios. Number two, wal yasa'ka baytuk. Let your home be sufficient for you. Let your home be a place where you are comfortable. Meaning, your time shouldn't be spent out there where the fitna lies. Rather, it should be within the sanctity, the sanctuary, the protection of your home. What does that mean? Again, we'll talk about it. And number three, the Prophet ﷺ says, وَبِكِي عَلَىٰ خطيئتك. It is without a doubt that we will make mistakes. Whether of the eyes, the mouth, the hands, the ears, we are not ma'asum. We will make mistakes. If you want to be protected, damage control. Just like when you're on the boat and it starts chipping away and certain parts break, if you don't patch it quick enough, the water is going to seep inside and the whole boat is going to collapse. Nabi Wasallam says the waters that were out there of the fitna of the world is going to chip away on your boat. Do istighfar and patch those small holes so that inshallah, even if there is some damage, it is repaired and you can make it safely on the other side. So three things. Number one, Controlling the tongue. Number two, being within the confines of the home and un not unnecessarily being plunged into the fitan of the world. And number three, being able to cry and weep over our shortcomings. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us this protection. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us and bestow upon us smooth sailing in the fitan of this world. Ameen ya rabbal alameen. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi